Mid-Journey is a fantastic tool that can produce astounding outcomes, as we all know, but it is not free. This is why I'm going to demonstrate one tools to you in the video you're watching right now. This tool is totally free, available everywhere, and browser-based, so they don't require an app like Discord to function. They can also produce some eye-catching pictures. Okay, folks, let's start with this, which is referred to Lexica. As you can see, it is a browser-based tool that is free and very easy to use, so you don't need a software or another program like Mint Journey to use it. It is, in my view, the most accurate imitation and substitute of Mint Journey. As you can see, here are all these amazing images that was created by users of this tool and they look very, very impressive. I mean the quality of some of these pictures are like insane. Look at the quality of these pictures. If you like this image, you can click on it, and it gives you all the information related to the image. You're gonna find the prompt. It was used to create the image. You can copy the prompt and use it, like experiment with it. Here it gives you the model, which the photo was based on here. As you can see, it gives you four different versions of the same prompt, and they all are full HD, and the quality of these pictures is very, very impressive. So, how to get started? You click here on Get Started and then you sign up with your Google. Then, you're gonna find this search bar here. You can search on any image. Let's say you want to search for images that have the word dog in the prompt. As you can see, it's very, very fast and accurate. All these pictures have the word dog in their prompts, and there are a lot, a lot, a lot of pictures. As you can see, it gave me 1768 results, which indicates that it's a very popular tool. If you want to generate images with Lexica, you're gonna go to the Generate tab here. Here, you're gonna describe your image by writing your prompt, and here you have the negative prompt, which means the thing that you don't want to include in your image. For example, I'll type in a dog with a Spider-Man outfit sitting on a tall building. Here, you're gonna find the options of the dimension to change the dimension. As you can see, this is white, and this is like a vertical. If you click on Advanced Settings, you have the Guidance Scale, which allows you to control the contrast. As you can see, we're gonna click on Generate and it generated four different types of images that have a dog with a Spider-Man outfit sitting on a tall building. As you can see, it's very, very accurate. Here's the dog, here's the Spider-Man outfit, here's the Spider-Man logo, and the dog is sitting on a tall building. These are the tall buildings. So each image is exactly what I told it in the prompt. For example, let's say we don't want the black dog, so in the negative prompt, we're gonna tell him that in our image, we want to exclude the black dog. So, this is my negative prompt. Now, let's click on generate. I'm gonna wait for a little bit. And as you can see, it generated four images of a dog with a Spider-Man outfit, but it excluded the black dog. So, I told him that I don't want the black dog in my images. So, you can have a white dog, a red dog, a yellow dog, a gray dog, whatever, any dog with a Spider-Man outfit, except the black dog. And as you can see, the images looked very, very good, and the quality too is very impressive. So, let's change things up for a little bit. I told him a spaceship about to launch in Finland, which we saw previously, and I changed the dimension from vertical to wide. And as you can see, it generated four images of a spaceship about to launch. Each image is different than the other one, and the quality on these images is decent. And the cool thing you can do with Lexica is, after generating your four images, you're gonna have all these four options to choose from. For example, you can generate variation which means that Lexica is going to use this image as a reference to generate four different and new images based on this one, or upscaling the image by adding more fine details or outputting it by generating a wider version of the image via Outpatient. For example, let's use this image as a reference to generate four different types of images. Click here on Generate Variation. I'm going to wait for it to load, and like magic, it's going to give me all these four different types of images. As you can see, each of the four images is different from each other, but around the same time, they have something similar with the original and the reference image, which is this one. It's like an NFT collection of the same object, but it is like an NFT collection, as I said. You can also upscale the image for more fine details by clicking here. It's gonna upscale it here so we can take a more in-depth look at the image, and it looks very, very good in my opinion. Here, the outpaint image, if you click here, it's gonna give you a wider version of this image, so this is the original zoomed image, and this is the wider image as you can see, so it gives me like more details so we can really share the environment around the dog. This is a really cool feature. Here you have the history of all the images we created. Here, you're going to find the images that you've liked. If you are browsing the home and you find an image and you liked it, you're gonna click here this heart icon, and the image will be added to this section, and the likes, you're gonna find it here. In the account section, we're gonna find the pricing of the tool. 
They have three plans, the starter, which is $8 per month, a pro, which is $24 per month, and max, which is $48 per month. The starter allows you to generate 1,000 generations per month. Don't worry about the subscription plans yet because the free one actually allows you to generate 100 images per month, so I think it will be enough for you. It is a very interesting tool, so go around here, find some images, find some inspiration, create some art, play with the tool, play with the settings, add your creativity and see what you got. And that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos just like this one. And don't forget to use this tool. The link will be in the description. Play around with this tool, see what you can come up with and create some art, and yes see you in the next video.